Welcome to the World Championship Stormrise Final. I'm Yug from uh, Stormrisers.com. And I'm Dan from the Creative Assembly. And what an exciting road it's been for these two competitors coming up to this match. Over 30 people from the Creative Assembly battled it out to the semi-finals. It was hard, it was tough, but eventually came down to just two guys, Andy Pender and Sonata Mishra. Let's see what they have to say. Do you have any particular words for, for Eileen that you want to say into the camera? Oh, I just, uh, you know, bad luck. Do you have any words for Shane to camera right now? Uh, good luck, I guess. It's not going to matter much. We have the entire of the Creative Assembly office here. Can we just get a bit of a roar or noise or just Can prove you're here? Yeah. The rules of the game are simple in this final match. Best of three, resources set to high, and each player has 15 minutes in order to get line of supply to the other person's base or completely annihilate them. We've got the commander versus commander here. That seems to happen quite often in these battles, yeah, actually. Yeah, the commanders are quick, so you often run out and start engaging each other. Nart's commander's in a whole lot of trouble right now. It is, it is. But he's running back, he's deploying artillery with his... Uh, Arc hammers, yep. hammers, there, yep. And he's got stalker support, but it's looking pretty grim for him. Andy's coming up the middle pretty fast. I gotta say, on this map, it seems to all come down to that particular pathway right there most of the time. It is, but it's spectacular when you get a victory from the side. Oh, there goes one of the stalkers. Look at Andy's uh, matriarchs raining down acid rain. That's crazy. There goes Nart's commander. I think Nart's oh, about no. to lose. Yep. Andy classic classic maneuvering with the uh, matriarchs there. Unless... Ah, uh, no, it's all over. It's all over? Yeah, he's brought in the rift worms. Nart's brought some hundreds to try and engage the rift worms, but he's sorely outnumbered Unless right now. Unless he actually breaks out his line of supply, he is in a lot yeah. of trouble. Yeah, we need a miracle oh. play. Oh, it's being captured. He's, he's holding on. It is being no, captured, but no. Oh, it, oh, oh. oh. It's intense, and it's, oh, and it's over. Oh, it's all over. Andy wins. <laughs> and there are cheers for QA. Cheers for QA. Cheers for QA. Andy playing as the Echelon, who he does say that is not his strength. Yeah, he does play a lot more with the side, but, uh, you know... He He's got such great ability that I'm confident he can execute a really good battle plan. How and much like Nut, he's starting with Stalkers too. True, true. How, how different are the strategies between the Sai and the Echelon? Oh, totally different. different factions. Uh, the, the factions are quite, uh, diametrically opposed. The, the, the Sai are brutal melee combat guys. Close combat. The, you know, the Echelon are the ranged units, the yep, standoff yep. units. So uh, Andy managed to really quickly move up in that last match and get in Nut's face, and it, it led to victory. But we see Nut here now getting up to uh, Andy's base nearly. Yes, actually talking about the, the commanders there, Andy has that big glowing ring around it. What's that actually mean? That's the uh, command targeting array, and what that does is give Andy a bonus 25% damage when he has it switched on. Right, right. And how long does it last for when he's got it yeah, switched on? It lasts for approximately uh, 20 seconds. Okay. So, they can see the notes that have been captured nearby. These guys are amazing, amazingly familiar with this yeah. map. Yeah. And, uh, Andy's with built a pretty big force now, and he's running them up to attack Nart. Yep. Commander, stalkers, hunters. Looks that like Nart's uh, frontal matriarch is going down, but he's now going to bring in some, some rift worms, worms coming in from over there. And but slightly differently in their uh, tactics, and there goes a rift worm, and, and it's down. leading to this really intense battle. Yeah, yeah, in the middle of the map. But we're going to come down to a classic battle of hunters and stalkers versus uh, matriarchs be and rift worms. Quite an epic battle here, actually. Here we go. See Andy using special abilities there. It's actually triggered some uh, surface-to-air missiles Whoa. to take out <laughs> the poor riftworm that Nart had. And we see on Nart's screen, we see acid rain being fired up the screen. Yep, from the uh, Matriarchs. Yep. Now it's using its anti-air acid bolts against the Now hold on, where is, where, where is Nart's egg in it? I, I thought I saw a riftworm before, but it's... It was uh, destroyed by some surface-to-air missiles used on the Stalker. Good play yep. by Andy. Well, the pressure is on Nar because if he doesn't win this battle, he's, he's lost. That, that's yeah. it. He has lost the finals. He was seated number one, but uh, Andy is an excellent player. He is, he is. <laughs> Andy's enjoying the uh, commentary from the peanut gallery, too. <laughs> uh, or perhaps just the random calls out from the crowd yeah. cheering them on. As you can see, amassing quite an army of infantry here. Do you think this could be to counter Nart's air units, or...? Uh, no, I think it's more a desperate tactic. Right. And entertaining, perhaps. It is. Some it, ragdoll it physics never I mean, go here straight. Here we go. Oh, BAM! 
Oh, oh. nuts. Captures his node as well. This is brutal. <laughs> But at 1 minute 30, it does seem like it seems the match is on the way to the end, and Andy is... Matt really needs to press forward now. Oh! Oh! oh. Bam! And, uh, look, honestly, not such they bring up the Matrix. He's got some ripworms. Really now, I think it's a battle between can Matt win, or is it going to go to a decision? Is it going to go to the timer? It's down to the last ah, 30 here seconds. It comes. Here comes his matriarch. This, this could be brutal. Look, it's all over for Andy. The question now is, can uh, Nut actually capture this before the game time runs out? Oh, I don't know if he can. Andy's just spamming enforcers. He's holding it, on. It's the last seconds 10 ago. seconds. It is going to be incredibly it's close. Intense. Andy, I think he's going to hold out. I think he's going to hold out. Two, one... one. And game, that's game over. My right, Dan, this is it. This is where the last couple of weeks has come down to this exact moment right here, the decided match between Andy and Nars. Now I know how Richie Ben Oldfield, when he calls like the World Cup of Cricket, I'm excited for these guys. This is the pinnacle of our game. It's it's quite intense as well. Look, it starts off, they're both got their commanders. Different setups on their commanders, though, I didn't know. I'm predicting that Nart's actually taken the blank pack. How are we going here, man? It's yeah, it looks pretty even right now. It does. We've got the, both the same kind of income. Much the same tatters. Come on. We've got a bit of support for Nart in the crowd. Riftworms, and he's got a few rages going on, but Nick oh, and he's building massive, a massive, massive army infantry army. Of uh, warriors and, uh, and rangers. And rangers there. And, and his commander. commanders in the middle too. So he has protected protected? this maneuver in the uh, semis where he forms a massive army and runs his commander in front of it and engages in vulnerability, he, forcing the enemy to shoot his commander. He did actually. Protecting his units. He did completely wipe out Locke. He I did see that. Lock one with this in the second match. He was not happy. Andy actually bringing around his massive army of infantry. How are we actually going for resources and supplies? Seems like Andy's got the upper hand at the moment. He does, because he took that middle node, he's formed a, a big line of supply to all the nodes nearby. So Nart's now trying to take it out with his riftworms. It's hard to know who's got the upper hand until they actually start to combat each other and oh, it seems go. like here we this go. This is going to be trouble. Whoa. Oh, bam! Oh, oh. bam! <laughs> oh, it's a massacre! Just blood all over the screen. Oh, Nath's nice commander's gone down. His commander's gone. And he's pushed through. He's moving towards that center I, node. I think this could be it for Sonatin. He's going for the line. I got lucky there with Andy not noticing they were underneath him. That's his target there, but I don't think it's going to work. No, it's heavily defended. And Andy's realised. It looks like Andy's a fully upgraded level 3 shield on a level 3 turret. This is going to be brutal on that. It's... No, look, even that rage isn't going to do much difference. Oh! Andy is the victor. <laughs> Not very, very, very good game, but uh, eventually came second. Do you think that uh, you know you, you might have a rematch against Andy someday, sometime down the track? Uh, probably not. I think he's pretty decisive. You haven't actually taken this very seriously at all this whole time, have you? Well, to me, it's more of a balancing exercise. <laughs> what, life and game? <laughs> Yeah, something like that. So Andy, uh, you won then. Um, what do you think Nard actually did wrong in that game? Was it turning up? Uh, that could be part of the reason, but um, I think it was mostly his uh, unit choice towards the end. In our final large battle, he had a lot of warriors and I had crap loads of rangers. And they seem to be warriors when it's a bigger pack. Congratulations. Wow. And uh, to Andy, the Stormrise Champion of the World. Everyone give him a big round of applause. Andy.